This video will show you three habits that you can apply in your life in order to get better results with the law of attraction. I'm gonna share with you practical ways to go about it and how it's changed my life. Welcome back to another video. My name is Aaron and I help people expand their consciousness. Now in this video, I'm going to be explaining to you some practical processes that you can apply in your own life in order to attract what you want. Now these are like daily habits that you can do. These are ways of optimizing your mind, understanding how you can really bring in your heart into the situation as well so that you're able to create what you want from a much stronger place. And the first one I have for you is understanding the power of meditation and how if you do that every day, that can positively affect you to where resistance is something you're able to let go of so that you're able to attract what you want. Now this for me was a game changer and when I began meditating about five or six years ago, it changed just about everything about me. Because what I realized was that what I could do is shift out of just the ego, of just the reactive mind and I could get to a place of observation. Now in the place of observation, if I were to ask you right now to just observe the next thoughts that come into your mind, what you would find is that you're much more neutral rather than reacting. And from this place, what you can do is imagine yourself, and I always use this analogy, imagine yourself sitting at a park bench watching people walk by. Just observe them walk by. What you do is you don't judge them, they're just walking by and you're just being observant of that. They're not good, they're not bad, it just simply is. In the same way, you can think of that analogy with the thoughts you have. Imagine them just going by, just allow them to be there, and as you do that, you neutralize any negative resistance. So many times with the law of attraction, people are so focused on what they want, but if there's a feeling of resistance there, because what we want isn't here already, what ends up happening is we actually block that from our experience because of that feeling that we have. Now we must link up our feelings to our actions, to who we are being, and if our feelings are negating the actual experience, we won't actually perceive of what could be right in front of us. There's a lot of times that if we simply get in the right state of being, things will start to happen because we are perceiving of it, and that's because of our state of being. We always get a reflection of who we are being. Now, the simple process I'd like to give to you and what I do every single day is the first 10 to 15 to 20 minutes of my day, depending on the day, it is me simply sitting down and staring at a candle flame. Now, the reason I use a candle flame is because I find that if my eyes stare at one single point, it's much easier for me to observe my breath. It's like the more my mind and my eyes wander, the more that my mind follows it and wanders as well. So what I do is I stare at a candle flame and it makes it so much easier for me to actually focus on the present moment. What I do is I then bring the awareness out of my head and into my hands, into my heart, into my body. It makes me much more present to the moment. And then what I do is I observe my breath and I observe my thoughts. Now this has been a game changer for me because I'm immediately able to let go of resistance. I'm able to see whether what I'm intending to create is straight from the ego or whether it's something that I can really learn to trust the process. You know, a lot of the law of attraction too is our ego. We think that we know exactly how we want things to manifest in our life. We think that we have to control every little puzzle piece and every little part of the process. But in reality, what's even more powerful is if we allow ourselves to trust the process. We have a strong vision, but we allow ourselves at a greater level to bring through the synchronicities and to bring through the things that could really happen. So that's one of the most powerful things that I've ever done is learn meditation, simply because I then learn to let go of resistance so that I'm able to observe it from a neutral point of view. Now the second habit that will completely transform your life if you apply it and it's transformed my life is learning the power of feeling gratitude for just a couple minutes a day and preferably more if you can. And what I do for this is I, for at the same time as I do the meditation right when I wake up, what I also do 
is after that and in the meditation, I imagine what I want to visualize and what I want to experience. I first off imagine it as if it's already happening now, not as if it will happen in the future, but as if it's happening now. And I feel gratitude for it happening now. I feel grateful for what I already have at the same time. So it's not just about the future, it's also about what can I feel grateful for that I already have? Having a great house to live in, having a family that I love and that loves me, having all of these characteristics, having you know the ability to travel wherever I want with a car or getting a plane ride and go anywhere. You know, these little things and these perspectives perspectives allow me to really focus on the present moment and knowing there's so much to be grateful for. Now this is the thing with gratitude. The gratitude that we feel has an effect on the electromagnetic energy of our heart. The more we feel from our heart, the more likely we are to actually link up with the things that resonate to it. Now HeartMath Institute has showed that the electromagnetic energy of the heart is thousands of times more powerful than that of the head. So the power of gratitude is that we bring it beyond just the intellectual ideas. We bring it on just the head part of the process and we bring it into a much more holistic point of view. I believe it's more powerful to create from the heart than it is from the head. Because with the head we have polarity. We have the left brain, the right brain. We have dualized concepts. We have good, bad, light, dark. And what we do is when we bring it into the heart, it's more of a centralized point of focus and it's more of a pure type of energy. It's more passionate. There's more energy there. So I always encourage people to feel gratitude and if you put your hands over your heart and you think of what you're grateful for, you'll start to feel from your heart more so than just your head. So to do this exercise, what I encourage you to do is to simply sit down maybe after your meditation and visualize what you are grateful for, for what's already in your life. Visualize the different scenarios, visualize the people you're connected to and feeling a heart connection to them. Actually physically put your hands over your heart like this and start to feel grateful for everything you have. You'll start to feel you bring the awareness from the head and into the heart and it also helps with the first one of meditation because then you become more present to the moment and you'll find that as you do that you start to feel totally different. The other little tip that I have is as I go into my daily life I like to do this thing where I set a trigger where every time I walk through a doorway I simply feel gratitude. I give myself permission to feel gratitude. I imagine what I'm one thing I'm grateful for and I do that every time I walk through a door. You can imagine that you walk through a door unconsciously so many times a day. So if you set that trigger, you'll start to bring gratitude into a daily part of your life and it's a very powerful space to be in. Now, the third habit I have for you is something that also dramatically changed my life. This has more to do with not so much the energy and the thinking aspect, but more to also do with the action side of things. And this is also a productivity hack. Every day, right when I wake up, after I meditate, after I do my gratitude, after I drink water, then what I do is I do the highest leverage activity that I can do towards the goals I have and towards the outcomes that I have. So this means that right now I am in that space. I just woke up maybe like 20, 30 minutes ago and the highest leverage action I can do every day is create a video. One, because I love creating videos for you guys, but the second thing is this the highest leverage thing that I could do. I've been creating three videos a day the last week and a half or two weeks and I'm about 30 videos ahead and that's allowed me to then focus on other parts of my business. So I'm now able to focus on more of the business side of things, the website optimization, all of these other things because I'm getting ahead. But I know that the highest leverage thing I could do every day is create a video. So what I encourage you to do is to get honest with yourself and see what is the highest leverage thing that you could be doing in order to get the best results. I in February of this year decided I was going to create a video a day because I knew that and ask myself the question. This could be a simple question that you ask yourself. What is the highest leverage thing that I could do every day that will make the biggest result within a year? That's the choice that I made in February to create a video a day and it has changed my life in profound ways because now I do YouTube full time. I'm able to do my passion every single day. I no longer have to go to a job that I don't really care about and that has all come from making that decision of doing that highest leverage thing first thing in the morning. So how could you apply this? Well, if you are an artist and you love to paint, paint right when you wake up in the morning. If you are somebody that wants to start a business, do the things every morning that get you closer to making that happen. Make it 
and time block what you could be doing in order to make that something that happens. So like the first 20, uh, I'd say the first hour of my day at least is creating videos. And then from the next two hours after that, it's normally editing videos. Those are my highest leverage things. But yours could be that you create something, maybe you create content, maybe you love to write, maybe you're an author. You write the first half an hour, hour of your day, and then after that, maybe you edit for a little bit. Or maybe then you do more research. Whatever it is, make it a must to get the highest leverage thing done throughout the first part of your day, and you'll feel so much productive the rest of your day, and everything the rest of your day just flows. I know that when I work hard at the beginning of my day, everything flows and I get so much more done. I mean, I probably get a day's work of stuff done in the first two hours of my day because I leverage those highest leverage activities and know that when I do that, it's just I'm so productive and I feel so productive throughout the whole day. So remember, the three habits that will dramatically change your life towards using the law of attraction is to first off meditate, release any negative resistance, simply decide you're gonna observe your thoughts, you're gonna observe your breath, you're even gonna move from your head and into your heart. The second one is you're gonna feel more gratitude, feel grateful for the things that are already in your life. Feel grateful for what you want to experience in the future, feel that right now, give yourself permission to feel those emotions right now in the present moment, and then thirdly, do the highest leverage thing right when you wake up in the morning and decide that as you do that, it's bringing you closer towards your goals, it's more action, and you're gonna feel better about your day. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that little notification gear next to the subscribe button so that you're able to see the daily vids that I do. Also, I put a free PDF inside the description box on the top three law of attraction techniques that have changed my life. Make sure you guys check that out and download that if you want. It is free. And I will see you guys on the next vid. Peace, much love, namaste.